Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to Survival Island Season 4. This is episode number 31. Welcome back, guys. I'm back on the island today, ready to continue to build some things. Um, I am going to be finishing the mansion today, okay? So, uh, I've actually had some cool stuff added to the mansion that I actually didn't even do. Uh, so, let me show you guys this real quick. Uh, last episode, I did the armory and the pantry, right? That was kind of the theme of the episode. And during the episode, I mentioned that anybody on the server who's watching you know, could come in and take one of those rooms if they'd like. And that's exactly what a couple of people did, so that's really great. Uh, start off here with uh, Luke, a.k.a. Wags Boy. He went ahead and added a room, which is really nice. So let's go ahead and take a look at it here. So this is cool because he added a bed. You know, you're, I mean, obviously, this is a creative mode bed. It's not a... Not a survival bed, but let's be real, we just time set anyway, so I think it looks fine. And then over here, he added himself some batting cages, so I'm assuming that you would basically stand here and like a snowball would get shot at you or something. I guess he has die right in here, those are supposed to be the baseballs. You just swing and you, you know, hit a home run. So we have a batting cage inside the mansion, that's like the last thing I expected to be added. Uh, over here we have Daniel Brett's room, which looks like it doesn't have anything in it. In fact, he took two rooms here, so... He's being a little bit greedy. No, I'm just kidding, but that's totally fine. Uh, so Daniel Brett's got kind of two rooms and one right there. And, of course, we have the, the food room pantry. Added some food inside of some of the chests a little bit, but it doesn't really matter a whole lot because I have, like, plenty of food on me anyway. And then I don't think any of the rooms on the second floor have been uh, taken yet. Uh, we have this one that is available. Might give that one to Kyle. And then we have uh, – that, that's that's my room over there. And then we have a couple more rooms down here. We have this one, which I might give to Matt. And then this one, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with. Maybe just some extra storage or something like that. But, um, I mean, the mansion still has a lot of space that needs to be filled in. So, uh, I'm not going to personally, like, fill any of these rooms. You know, I'll let people come on the server and fill rooms if they want. It's just like a big old hotel disguised as a mansion. But as far as the interior, I think I'm pretty much done working on it. It is This is survival after all, and... I pretty much have everything I need inside of the mansion anyway, so I'm pretty much good to go. Uh, but what I do nef definitely need to do, though, is actually um, work on the backyard a little bit. So a couple things I did in between episodes. For starters, I actually went ahead and fixed all the trees. So now the trees don't have the, like, those glass blocks next to them anymore and the dirt blocks. They're fully grown in and they look great. There's only one problem. This tree right here came in kind of Humpty Dumpty, but I'm okay with it. It's fine, I guess. Um... <laughs> it's not nearly as big as the other ones. I think it was just being blocked by the uh, the tree next to it because I got really lucky in this. All the trees grew really tall on first try. Um, I think that's just how they do it. If, if you actually, like, let them grow on their own and wait without just, like, trying to bone meal them, I think they just grow, like, full size on their own. I'm pretty sure because, I mean, there's a pretty good amount of uh, evidence of that, you know, right here in this backyard. But the, uh, the trees are looking good. So what I want to add today, actually, is uh, some wheat fields, right? So we have this entire area of the house here, uh, pretty much next to the river, and I want to just add, like, just tons of wheat, like, just all over the place, uh, just, like, a whole huge field of wheat. So as you guys can see, I've, I've come prepared. I have a bunch of seeds and a hoe in my inventory already, and I'm also going to use my bucket so we can get some nice fertile land here. Um, might have to move the, uh, the Team Valor Pokemon Go gym because Pokemon Go is dead as a doornail. So uh, we might have to move that out of the way uh, just so I have some more space. I don't know. It, we, can we can probably just leave it there, honestly. I think we'll be fine. But let's just go ahead and get started here. So I'm just going to start to plant wheat pretty much everywhere around these grass paths. That's pretty much just what I'm going to do. So let me just start to – oh, that's not what I want to do. That's not good. This is going to be a little bit tricky because obviously I apparently you can uh, still hoe uh, the grass path, which is not what I want. But – let me go ahead and just start to plant some of these wheat blocks down. Um, obviously, it's going to be a little bit tricky because I need to... Uh, well, first off, let's just do this. I'm just going to put little water buckets all over the place because I need to make it so it's going to grow, actually. I'll like put a bunch of them all over the place. I'll put one right here. We'll start off with this. I'm actually going to have to go... Wait, do I have my shovel on me? Okay, I need to I need to uh, switch up this grass path there. That was a, That was a mistake. I did not mean to do that. Let me just do that, hopefully. I'm going to have to fix that later. It's it, That's the one thing I really annoying about the grass path. I wish you could just pat down dirt. I know it's like doesn't make sense, but sometimes you make mistakes, and it's just actually like kind of difficult to repair your error. So that's uh, something I've been trying to, trying to avoid as much as I can. But 
yeah today i'm just gonna work on finishing up the mansion uh i still have a few more things that i want to build uh we're gonna be doing the uh the purge very soon i think that's what we've decided on it's going to be the uh the season finale i actually it's gonna be the series finale since i am uh I am officially making the announcement right now, breaking news, you can play a little breaking news jingle. Um, this is going to be the, the final season of Survival Island, it's uh, it's going to be over after this. There's not going to be a season 5. I probably said this after season 3, but I'm like official now, like this there's, this is the last season of Survival Island. It's going to be uh, it's going to be finished at 4 seasons, so it's not a trilogy. What, what do you call uh, like a set of 4 in like... You know, like it's a trilogy. You know, like it's a trilogy. If it was three, if, if it's seven, it's a saga. You know what I mean? Or, or no, if it's six, it's a saga. I think I'm not 100 percent sure. But um, what, what is it called? Like a quartet? It's a quartet of seasons, basically. And uh, I think this is going to be the final season here on the PC version. So uh, it was a very good season. So we're we're pretty much getting close to wrapping it up. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and kind of start to hoe this land. I was thinking about doing like a survival island throwback season and doing, you know, another uh season on survival island season one, like that seed. Uh I probably won't end up doing that as like a series, but I might make like I might actually like just do it for fun, you know what I mean? So we're just gonna have to wait and see on that. But uh, I would that would require Tyler honestly. I think uh I don't think there's any doubt that survival island is a lot different without tyler i think uh I, don't, I think there's no question about that but let's go ahead and uh, continue to play some of this wheat so i'm just gonna start to place a lot of this wheat down and and then i'm gonna come in and bone meal it so it's gonna take some time obviously i don't i have quite a bit of bones so i think it should be okay uh really i have these are all the seeds that i have right now i have like five stacks um, obviously I can I can go around and break more grass and get more seeds I think there's like I'm already gathering more seeds just by breaking these couple pieces of grass so I can get more seeds uh, just fine uh, obviously you know when you you know turn the wheat it'll get you more seeds as well I mean that goes without saying but um, you know I'll, I'll try to just continue I'm just gonna add like what I have in my inventory right now so this is like the four stacks or so this is like what I'm gonna add right now all right uh, let's go ahead and start to place this down gonna have to add a little bit more water in this area because it is getting a little dry as you guys can probably tell but it's been so long since I've like made like a wheat farm <laughs> it's like the basics of Minecraft it's kind of funny all right so we're gonna put that there and this block for some reason just keeps on switching so let me uh let me go back over to the handy dandy river fill my bucket again as you guys can see a pig man has entered entered our world he's welcome honestly i don't care all right let's put a uh water bucket right there i did not mean to, to jump in there okay so that's like a decent amount of wheat already the thing about wheat is it looks pretty ugly when it's not fully grown just because that like lime green color i just don't think looks very good if i had a complaint about the default texture pack which in my opinion is just you know it's the classic texture pack i don't really think it needs to be changed in any way like it's perfect right it's just when you think Minecraft, you think the default texture pack, obviously, but if there's anything that the default texture pack could improve on, 100%, it would be just like these lime green colors for the wheat. I think it just looks bad. Same thing with uh, baked potatoes. If you, I'll show you guys an example real quick, actually, because I need to prove my point. So let me go inside uh, my basement here. I'll show you guys my potato farm, which you guys have seen uh you know plenty of times but like it just doesn't look very good right it's just like this n lime green color i just don't think it looks very good um i've never really liked the way it looked um so i don't know i, I think it looks better when it's fully grown the potatoes obviously even when they're fully grown don't, don't look very good but it's just kind of interesting um you know obviously there's like a texture back like the natural texture back for example where the uh i feel like the the wheat looks really really good even when it's like not fully grown uh, that's one of the nice things about the natural texture pack, which was this texture pack we used on Survival Island season number two, which my was my personal favorite season. I'm actually curious, guys. I think I might have asked this question previously, and if I did, then, uh, you know, I just don't remember. I'm pretty sure I did, though. But let me just ask you guys real quick. What was your favorite season of Survival Island? I know if you're still watching at this point, then you know. I know you guys have been watching all the seasons of Survival Island. So I'm just curious... What season of Survival Island did you guys like the most? Season 1, 2, 3, or this season, Season 4? I'll give you guys my answer. It's Season 2. I really enjoyed Season 2. We used the Natural Texture Pack. Uh, the, the island was very good. 
Uh, we were playing it all the time. We had a lot of fun on it. So season two is my personal favorite. So let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like season four because of all the uh, the awesome features of PC and like the bigger builds? Do you guys like season three because it was on Xbox One? I feel like all the seasons are pretty different. So that was what I really strive for on this series in total. You know what I mean? Like every season, it's still Survival Island, but every season is, is very different from each other, if you know what I mean. Like, the difference between Season 1 and Season 4 is is actually kind of insane, if you think about it. Alright, so we have about, um, actually, we only have about two stacks left of seeds right now. So, just that area is like three stacks, so maybe I'm going to have to uh, acquire some more at some point. I'm definitely going to have to, because I want to actually cover uh, pretty much this whole area. So... We're definitely going to need quite a bit, but it should be fine for now. Again, I'm just going to place down what I have currently, so uh, however much that covers is however much it's going to be for now. All right, so we're going to place that. And guys, later on in this video, stay tuned to the end because I got something cool I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to be taking a look at the mansion uh, in the City Texture Pack Advance, which is the, uh, you know, the custom texture pack that I am using for CLD Season 2 and it's a it's coming along so good the texture pack is just the coolest thing ever and i wanted to do a little crossover here take a look at the texture pack in survival island just to see how the mansion looks because the brick blocks have been improved from your typical city texture pack bricks which is not one of the best blocks in the texture pack just to say the least but um i'll show you guys what that looks like at the end of the episode after we're done placing down all this wheat but Let's go ahead and just start to break some of this out of the way. So I'll just hoe the areas around the grass here. Just try to get all this. Um, we'll see how much this is actually going to cover. You know, the thing about Minecraft is I always underestimate how much blocks I'm going to need. Rarely ever do I, like, gather a bunch of materials. Like, for this case, before the video started, I gathered, like, five, five stacks of um, seeds here. Never am I ever, uh, you know, overdoing it. I think the only time I ever did that was maybe for, like, the ice rink. I got, a, like, a lot of ice, and I had some leftover uh, for the <laughs> for the ice transport system. And I think my, my hoe just broke there, so we're going to have to go inside and make a new one. I'll just do that in just a second. But we're down to only 58 seats left. Uh, while I'm inside, I might as well just uh, look for some bone meal as well. I have 21 on my inventory currently. But I'm almost positive that there's got to be at least another stack or so inside the mansion. So we're going to look for that right now. There might honestly be, even be some in here. Okay, no, there isn't. Let's just check all the chests. You never know what you're going to find. I need to clean up this boat area. There's People have been going back and forth, and there's so many boats. Wait, hold on. Yep, there's some bone meal right there. That's 43. What do we got now? 64 exactly. Look at that. That's beautiful. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm going to have to grab some of that iron for... Uh, another another hoe uh, I should just make a diamond hoe honestly like look at how many diamonds I have I just might as well make a diamond hoe screw it I'm making a diamond hoe it's happening uh, where's the bone meal though doesn't look like we have really too much in here so we're gonna have to roll with what we got uh, I might have seen some bones maybe uh, yeah okay there's a couple of bones in here so I'll take those uh, we'll turn those into some extra extra bone meal real quick but that'll hopefully be enough for just this episode. Um, let's see. So let's make this diamond hoe real quick before we head back down. I can't even remember the last time I made a diamond. Wait, hold on a second. I have to uh, get some sticks first. I can't even remember the last time I made a diamond hoe. It's actually kind of funny. But uh, there we go. We got ourselves a diamond hoe. No rhyming intended, of course. And let me go ahead and actually just grab these bluettes, these orchids. Um, I'm just going to actually just place these around the house. Because they are, like, nice-looking flowers, so I might as well just kind of add them. So I'll place one, like, right here. Put the bluette right there. Yellow flower. Red flower. Put another red flower right there. Just because there's, you know, they're in my inventory. I might as well just put them to good use. We got ourselves a diamond hoe. I haven't used one of these in, like, 50 years at least. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and finish this up. Let's wrap it up. All right, I'm going to place some extra wheat right here some seeds of course and let's just hoe the rest of this land here like the good farmer that i am okay and nope that's not what i want all right so let's go ahead and just place them down probably gonna actually need to grab an extra water bucket for this area because it, it seems like water doesn't uh have the same effect as it once did i don't know if i'm just like 
lost or I don't know, but uh, <laughs> it's it seems like the water used to reach further than it used to. I don't know, maybe it just takes some time to, you know, get to a certain length, but I don't know. I just feel like the one block of water isn't fertilizing as much soil as it normally would. I could be wrong though, honestly. That might just be a ridiculous statement. It really might be, who knows. All right, we got 32 left, so let's make it count. I'm gonna fill the rest of this in here. That gives us 12, make that 11. Oh yeah, and we gotta place them right here as well. Okay. So, we have a little bit there, quite a bit in the middle. Let's add like these last few pieces right over here. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, and six. There we go. So these are gonna be the last few pieces right there. All right. So now that we have some some wheat put in, now it's gonna be hard to picture this, you know, exactly the way I want it. Um, just you know, with this small sample size. I honestly thought this was gonna cover a lot more space than it did. I clearly underestimated this, but I'll keep working on it off camera. It's fine. Um, but let me just go ahead and let's do some bone mealing, okay? Let's just uh, try to make as much of this fully grown wheat as possible. So I'm just gonna try to utilize this bone meal to the best of my ability. So there we go. We got a good amount right there. We can uh, use this 64 bone meal. Hopefully uh, we can get just a, a good chunk of this turned into full wheat here. All right. So I don't know if I'm actually gonna like use this area. I might just, you know, leave it for aesthetic purposes. Uh, you know, kind of just like as a field of, of wheat. You know, will I turn it? I don't think I will, honestly. My baked potatoes are my preferred food choice anyway. So I'll probably just leave it, honestly. And uh, it'll just be like an aesthetic feature for the backyard. It's something I've been wanting to add for a while and I just finally got around to it. But there's just a small sample size. That is just not that much. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to to come in off camera and and bone meal the rest of this because we're going to have to kill some skeletons or something. Because <laughs> this is going to take quite a bit of bone meal. It's going to take quite a bit more seeds. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a grind, but I'm okay with that because I think it could look pretty good when it's done. Especially when you're up on the balcony, I could just picture, you know, this like wheat field in the backyard being kind of cool. So um, I definitely think it's it's it has some value and I definitely should finish it. So. Uh, anyway, guys, with the last thing I want to do this video, as I promised a couple of minutes ago, I want to actually show you guys, um, you know, what the mansion looks like in my City Texture Pack Advanced. So I'm going to go ahead and show you, guys, show you guys that right now. All right, guys, check it out. Here is the mansion in the City Texture Pack Advanced. I mean, this is just unbelievable stuff right here. Okay, first off. Check out the uh, the lanterns here. These are the ender uh, the end lanterns that you get from the end city. Look at that. They're freaking like actual lanterns. That's just so cool. But um, you know everything about the city texture pack advance is just really awesome. Everything from the sky to all the block choice. It's it's all really really well done. And I, I thought I'd just show it here. You know it's I've been using it pretty much only for uh, for CLD, but you know for Survival Island, like those bricks are a really nice block. You know honestly. I would use this for Survival Island. Like, I'm not even kidding. It's actually not even that bad. Obviously, the city's texture pack really isn't suited for it. I mean, look, I'm a freaking doctor now, so <laughs> it's kind of funny. But that's why I wanted to show you guys this real quick. Um, city texture pack advanced. I'm actually just going to need to grab some food real quick. Uh, it, it's really cool just having this thing. And it's kind of funny looking at the mansion in this texture pack, especially with, like, the, uh, the super bushy leaves. Look at how much bushier that they are than normal. And then the vines on the side of the house it just looks so big. I love it. So anyway, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching this episode of Survival Island. I worked a little bit on the backyard and, you know, coming uh, close to completing the mansion. Uh, I'm going to finish up the the backyard pretty much right now, actually. And, uh, you know, we're going to... That'll pretty much finish the mansion, honestly. Um, you know, I'm not going to do too much more in the interior. But th that'll pretty much wrap up the mansion, and then we can start to, you know, work towards killing the wither. That's going to be an episode. Doing the purge, that's going to be an episode as well. And it should be pretty cool. Also, take a look at the nether. That looks awesome. So, that's a pretty cool looking thing as well. But, anyway guys, thanks for watching. It's been Dan Lax. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode of Survival Island Season 4. We're getting pretty close towards the end of the season. Wrapping things up. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a like if you did enjoy it. And I'll talk to you guys on the next episode. Peace out.